All right, gang, I'm here with Rux. He's a one-year-old mini poodle. Uh, he's a fireball. We wanted to take this opportunity just to illustrate what an, what an initial engagement session might look like with a dog. Rux is uh, not my dog. He belongs to a friend of ours, but he allowed us to use him for the purposes of this filming. Again, he's a year old. He's got some training on him. Um, not an incredible amount, but he's definitely had some engagement work, so this is going to be not so fresh to him. What is fresh, what is new, is it's with a new person, okay? And take note, what I'm going to be doing within this session is, first and foremost, I'm just going to be promoting engagement, meaning I'm going to be re Good. I'm going to be rewarding this dog's choices to stay with me, to stay actively invested with me. The other thing I want you to keep, in my, keep an eye on is my use of markers. I am going to be using, I am going to be using our duration and terminal markers that we talked briefly about. Remember with the terminal bridge or the terminal marker, I'm gonna be accenting it, adding value to it by pairing it with movement as well, right? It's gonna be food, but movement, and hopefully the dog finds this appealing. And then my duration bridge or my duration marker, I'm gonna be taking the food to the dog. So I'll be rewarding in place, uh, not asking for movement or incorporating movement with that marker. And again, my only hope for this session is to keep Rux engaged with me, actively pushing me, to make him feel like he's making some things happen on my end. He's actually influencing my movement. So here I am standing still, he sneezes, he's cute, he's about to bark, I'm gonna wait that out while he's invested in me. Yes, good boy, yes. So he stayed with me after food reward, he's staying with me right now as I'm digging for food. I'm gonna pause. Yes, I contrast my energy with movement. I go from a passive or a stale state, yes, to a, mo to a moving state with food. Oops, he found some goods on the ground there. Rux, come here, buddy. A Little bit of movement calls him back in, good. Yes, he's still with me. Good, notice I said good and fed in place. Good, notice I say good and feed in place. Contrast it with Yes, here's an important note. Right now I'm getting to some of the crumbly pieces of my bait bag right now, right? So I'm running low on food reward. Uh, we did a training session before this. Here I am dropping some pieces of food and notice how this is affecting my training session. So we're gonna contrast this right now, which I'm gonna grab, I've got six pieces. Hopefully they're not gonna go crumbly on me. And what I'm gonna do is get more fluidity in my training right now. So here's the effects of dropping food versus not. Good. Yes, he stays with me. I'm not dropping food. I'm doing a better job of managing my food. I'm taking more accountability for my end of this. Yes, good boy. Good, feed in place. Good, marker happens first, food comes to dog. Contrasted with, yes, dog gets to chase the food down. Right? There's my terminal marker here. Yes, good boy. And I'm making sure that I stay pretty loaded with food as I'm feeding right now, digging my hand into the bag. Yes, good boy. Yes, and what I want is for this dog to stay actively, continually pushing me, and that's what I'm getting right now. So this, as far as an engagement session, yes, is pretty good. This dog hasn't given up on me. He hasn't found other things to do. He thinks I'm pretty interesting. And when I've got this going on with the dog, I can actually start teaching him some more complex behaviors. Good boy, Rox, woohoo, yes. Just wanted to take a moment to break down one of the pieces of that video. Notice when Rux went to the floor and started actively seeking the food that was on the floor, and my response was to move away from him. And generally, this is what we wanna do. It's not up to me to manage the dog at that point or to be accountable for him. By me moving away, I create some more movement on my end. I draw the dog back into me, and then I can reward that dog's choice to leave the food on the ground and to re-engage me in the process. And that is its core, is engagement. The dog being accountable for me, being actively invested in me, uh, versus the other way around.